hyperprolactinemia. Hyperprolactinemia means this exists production of prolactin hormone. And prolactin hormone is synthesized by the cells in the pituitary gland known as lactotrophs. It is secreted in a pulsatile manner which increases with sleep and in pregnancy. The normal levels of prolactin hormone is below 25 nanograms per milliliter. And this hormone is responsible for development of breast tissue, facilitates bonding in an offspring, and it has also reproductive functions. In men, they have low amounts of prolactin hormone, of which we don't know it is function. And we have mnemonics to master in studying hyperprolactinemia, like PIG standing for prolactin inhibits gonadotropin releasing hormone secretion. DIP TIP deep tip dopamine inhibits prolactin release in the tuberine fundibular pathway. And traps to mean TRH aids in prolactin secretion. The causes of hyperprolactinemia are idiopathic. There will be a benign tumor in the anterior pituitary that is involving lactotropes causing production of excess prolactin hormone, prolactin secreting macroadenomas and microadenomas, drugs specifically dopamine receptor antagonists such as risperidone and phenothiazines, dopamine depleting agents, metadopa, antihypersensives can cause excess prolactin. High prolactin levels stimulate the mammary glands in the breast to induce lactation and breast enlargement. It inhibits gonadotropin secretion and after the tissue responsiveness of the responsive tissues to estrogen and progesterone. It disrupts the menstrual and ovarian cycles. Induced in men during treatment with antipsychotic drugs that act to block central dopamine receptors that control prolactin release, leading to gynecomastia. The secretion is under itonic inhibitory control by dopamine which acts on the D2 receptors on the lactotrophs and its release is stimulated by thyroid releasing hormone, epidermal growth factor and dopamine receptor antagonists. The clinical features for hyperprolactinemia include breast enlargement, non-gestational lactation, weight gain, amenorrhea, infertility, oligomenorrhea, in men, there will be sexual dysfunction, visual disturbances, and headache. The differential diagnosis for hyperprolactinemia are a prolactinoma, hypothyroidism, erectile dysfunction, acute kidney injury, and happy zoster together with acromegaly. For you to diagnose a patient with this hyperprolactinemia, history and physical exam are key. Measure TSH levels to rule out hypothyroidism, prolactin levels, pituitary hormones and thyroid hormone levels together with the adrenal hormones are also taken. MRI and CT scans can be performed to locate any prolactinoma, urea and electrolyte to detect renal failure, evaluate insulin growth factor 1 and glucose tolerance test in patients with acromegaly. The treatment withdraw any drug that is causing hyperprolactinemia after evaluating the risk and benefit profile. Radiation therapy. You monitor small glandular tumors and microadenomas. Then you conduct a yearly imaging and yearly measurement of prolactin levels. Contraceptive advice. Macroadenomas require medical treatment. And treatment with dopamine receptor agonists like cabegolin or bromocryptin is the first treatment. In pregnancy, preconception risk assessment and a close monitoring of the tumor size and function should be done. Bromocryptin is continued because it is safe in pregnancy together with cabegolin. Regular monitoring of the tumor size and prolactin levels, then progestational transfenyl dosagily to debug the tumor. Then the indications for surgery will include women with microadenoma who want to become pregnant, those women who cannot tolerate bromocryptin, Patients who refuse to take medications, who do not respond to medicines or show any disease progression after the initial response to the medicines. When a microprolactinoma has failed to shrink sufficiently with dopamine agonist therapy, if the tumor has a cyst involvement, and medications required after surgery when prolactin levels remain higher than normal. Patients with persistent visual field defects can also undergo surgery.